All right, guys, I'm uh, heading back to a board site that I set up a long time ago, like back when I first started finding hognose snakes and things like that. And um, I'm gonna see what's under it today, just, you know, after work, kinda out of boredom. Just good weather today, I wish I were out earlier, but um, it's still pretty nice out and there's still a good chance of flipping something. Um, this spot also has worm snakes, which in Pennsylvania are actually pretty rare. Um, which is probably not what people that have been to the southeast or the Pine Barrens in New Jersey are used to. But uh, anything that we find could be pretty cool. And uh, if there's nothing under the boards, then we're gonna revert to a little salamander hunting and uh, we'll see where this video takes us. All right. So it's definitely a lot cooler than it's been lately. And um, it feels like it might be a little prefrontal right now. We might get a thunderstorm soon. It's, you know, kind of overcast and, uh, and it feels cool and shady. So I think that gives us a pretty good chance at just walking something up or finding something undercover. Now this is, um, pretty unique Pine Barrens like habitat for Pennsylvania and you can see there's all this stuff these are called um, club moss then here you have like a hairhead type moss or something like that and that stuff is typically good habitat for hognose snakes All right, so check this out. Oh, before he gets away, I'm gonna grab him. This might not seem exciting to most people, especially if you live somewhere where these are common. And if I were in the Pine Barrens, this wouldn't be exciting really, or, con or sorry, this wouldn't be exciting at all. Um, but up here, they're pretty rare because in Pennsylvania, you typically don't get the kind of sandy Pine Barrens-like habitat that these guys like to living so pretty cool and you can see why they call them worm snakes all right all right we're gonna let this guy go right back under here there he goes You know, something's always happening to my boards here, which is a shame, because they've sat out here for so long. And that's something non-human, I believe. It's always tearing these things up. Check out this habitat, it's kind of crazy. Now, right there is where I found my, not my lifer, but the second ever one I found. It was literally just sitting embedded in the moss, it was super cool. The one, you could go back and find the video, but it was one that I literally drove right up to. It was pretty awesome. Here we go. Here's a nice intact one. Feels like just yesterday that I laid this board. Let's see, it's probably gonna be pretty wet underneath, but it's pretty good looking. Might be, need to be propped up a tad bit. Put some sticks under there and lay it back down. These things have seen quite a bit in their day. Nothing under that one. Ooh. Something's constantly ripping up my boards here. I think it might be... Someone told me porcupines do that. This one's ancient. Nope. Oh, man. 
How's this board, eh? This is how you know you've been at the game for a long time. It's when your boards look like this. I don't know if it could be much worse than this. <laughs> some intact ones. Oh, a ring neck. It's gonna poop all over me. Look at that. It's kind of a pretty ring neck, though. <laughs> Here we go. Here's two ring neck snakes. Whoa. Hey! He's getting away. All right, well that one's taken off, but here's one. I also had a worm snake, big gravid worm snake under one of those other boards, but I actually tunneled right down into the dirt and moss before I could get to it, and I didn't want to harass it too much because it was gravid, meaning pregnant for those that don't know. So, I'm gonna let these guys go. Cool, cool. That's like one of my only intact boards. Well, that's what's left of, uh, looks like all my boards. So, uh, I'm gonna head out of here and, uh, maybe I'd repopulate the site sometime, but I might hike around a little bit and then I'm gonna look for some salamanders. All right, so here's something pretty cool. I haven't been in here in a couple years, but this is an abandoned well or like a pump house. And there's water that comes out right out the center of it. On the inside, if you shine the walls, you can find really cool salamanders. So, I brought a flashlight and let's check out what this is like. You can even find snakes sometimes up in the rafters. So let's see. The water's low. Yeah, the water's. Pretty damn low. It's an old slate roof. Sometimes on this wall, we're gonna take a closer look in a sec. You can find cool salamanders in the cracks. I'm gonna look up in the rafters real quick though. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find in places like these. Check that guy out. It's a green frog hiding in a crack in the wall. That's wild. Off the ground. Cool. Wow, unfortunately, there was not much in the caves or wells or whatever you want to call them today. Um, and I kind of got to go home. Um, I'm going to pick the rest of this video up another day, so I'll let you know when that'll be. All right, people, so uh, what we're going to be doing right now is uh, a little road cruising. Been doing a lot of that lately because it's been hot. We are getting a tiny bit of rain right now, and maybe there will be a passing thunderstorm or two, but I think the majority of the night is going to be warm and humid and not rainy, so uh, if that's the case, we should see some stuff. Um, we're shooting for timber rattlesnakes and northern copperheads. I'd like a copperhead, um, so I haven't seen one in, I don't know, a few weeks or something. I can't remember. Um, and uh, they're not super common up here compared to you people down south that look for snakes. So. We'll see what we can do and uh, let you guys know. Finally on the board with a snake. It's a 
little garter snake. Pretty cool, eastern garter snake. Nice little checkered one. I thought it was a ribbon snake, but anyway, good to see stuff moving. I'm hoping to see a copperhead soon. I'm gonna move this guy off the road and keep looking. All right, the next animal of the night, he's getting away here, is uh, this big northern red salamander. Pretty neat. This one is a pretty old individual. I'm gonna give him some water in a second here to, dr uh, to wet him down before we let him go. Pretty cool. All right, people, um, I'm out here about to film what will probably be next week or the week after's video, and I'm throwing together this video, and I realize I have this footage from over the summer. I was out with a friend, and I wasn't intending on filming a video, but we flipped a bunch of smooth green snakes and a hognose snake, so I figured I'd throw that footage in here for you guys to see, so uh, check it out. All right, so we're in the Poconos today, and the first couple snakes of the day are a bunch of green snakes. We also saw some ring necks, but I figured I'd film these guys. Gotta love them. We hit the spot where we got a bunch last week and didn't see any. Then we came here to a spot where I hardly ever see them when we have three. Pretty awesome. All right, the next snake of the day we got is a big female hognose here. It's a relatively pretty one, nothing crazy, but it's got some nice yellows on it. Um, she found her out on the crawl, pretty cool. Um, it's not perfect weather for one today, but it is breeding season, so at this time of year the big females will be out at some sites, at nesting sites like we're at now, in almost any weather. So, uh, pretty cool. I might take some pictures of this snake and, uh, let her go. Pretty awesome. 